Anna Galley papers at the library, there's a group of letters written by her to her husband during the war and just after. These letters first caught my attention because they're so interesting to read. They're sharp, they're witty, and they're really, really honest. And they provide an insight into the life of this one woman, but through that we'd learn a little about the lives of women generally during this period. She talks a little about the war, but they're also full of ordinary news, Christmas, financial matters, her young son. And we're also given a slight glimpse at women's sexual health during this period as she talks about friends asking for contraceptive advice before getting married. What I also love about the letters is how varied they are. So while they're full of domestic news, they're also infused with news of current affairs, her political interests, books that she's read, art that she likes. So in one paragraph she'll talk about political matters maybe, before moving on to talking about the washing and the weather in the next. They're also a real snapshot of a husband-wife relationship and give us some idea about how women must have felt during the war when their husbands are away. But there's also something really timeless about them in that we can still relate to many of the subjects she talks about, such as the sleepless nights after having a baby. Despite being over 70 years old, for me, these letters capture the complexity of being female, that a woman can be a living wife, a mother, a writer, a political campaigner, or whatever she chooses to be, and can be all of these things all at once. A Miss Castle and Slaus Griever, Livergas, one of the Diadir seen all Rhine Hannes, the Diadir Kennar protest Green and Common, Blinath Miloy the Venuad, Gaskly and Heed, E Protestia, and Erbin Kadu, Aravai Nuclear, Aris Savle, Milurol and um, Mar de the Adir was a great and an petit. Um, he or the Nodrevnuir, a rum di three the all ogardid, e greenum common, and Miss Medi in our theme. Madai Pithen and Haro Yamad de the Adir, um, a cuntav other a stod of a noa de the na, um, Amruith Eang or an Oidrana, um, Merched Ivank and Maggie plant on Hevid Hin Ragath, um, Akanail sit not the protest to a divnithia a Hinanyeth Benoid, are the Lwedd o'r fam i herio o'r heini oedd yn pŵer um, i geisio diogelu dyfodol eu plant. The items I've selected are one of the most interesting sets of items in the collection here. They are Victorian era photographs of strong woman Kate Roberts, better known by her stage name Volcana. Uh, despite a traditional Victorian upbringing, she went on to follow a path of independence that was not achievable for most women of her time. She joined a local troupe of athletes as a young girl, ran off with a married man, and toured music halls in Britain, Europe, and Australia. In these images, she appears defiant, almost aggressive, and on equal terms as her husband. I think that these images show a very strong and independent woman who was aware of her own talents, and how to promote them, and worked hard to carve out a career for herself at a time when many women did not have that opportunity. Um, Ymhlith ymiloedd yr filoedd o glechgronau yng Nghasgliadau'r Llyfrgell, prin iawn yw rhai ar gyfer merched. Ond ym 1978, cyhoeddwyd Cylchgrawn Pais. Uh, roedd Pais yn Cylchgrawn ysgafn i ferched ac yn eiang ei apel. Uh, o'i lond yw'r thyglau, straeon, tydlenau ffasiwn a cholir, um, ac mae lot o'r cynnwys stali fod yn addas iawn ar ein cyfernu heddi. Uh, Doedd y Cylchgrawn i ben yn 1991, ond yn, yn y flwyddyn diwetha yma, um, ni wedi cael Cylchgrawn newydd sbon i ferched, sef Codi Pais. Um, mae hwn a'i londau o straeon, barddoniaeth a chelf, um, a'i bwrpas e yw i ddathru cyfraniad a chreadigrwydd merched Cymru. The item I've chosen from the collection is the 1988 documentary MAM, which charts the changing lives of women living in mining communities in the Welsh Valleys. Using the words of historians and interviews with wives and mothers who have lived through tumultuous times in the valleys, we hear the powerful story of the Welsh MAM and the struggle for equality, freedom and opportunity. Pivotal moments in history are discussed from the Blue Books of 1847 to World War II when women were called from their duties at home to work in ammunition factories and the minor strikes in the 1980s where women came together to support the cause. We follow the story starting with the notion of the mam as the angel of the home, duty bound to look after the men of the house and ending as confident working women, breadwinners in their own right who had to fight against prejudice in the workplace. 
A fact that will always stay with me from the documentary was that at the end of the 19th century, women between the ages of 20 and 45 had a higher mortality rate than their husbands who worked in dangerous jobs down the mines. The danger of childbirth was a key contributing factor, but surely it is also likely it was down to the sacrifices women made for their families in terms of their own health, even foregoing food when times were hard. Mam is thought-provoking and hard-hitting at times, but it certainly holds above all else the strength and resilience of these women and the freedoms that they've won for future generations. Mae'r eith yn fyd i dawes yn llawysgrif o'r enw peniaeth pedwar, sef Llyfr Gwyn Rhyfedd. Mae'r Llyfr Gwyn sy'n dyddio o'r pedwerydd Ganrif a Ddeg, yn cynnwys streion canolwythol y mam benogi. Weithiau, mae dyluniau o merched o'r cyflwn canolwythol yn gallu dod o draws fel cymeriadau distaw a diwiol, ond nid y rhoi ni'n cwrdd yn y mam benogi. Mae'r cymeriadau fel Rhiannon, Branwen, Lyned a Blodeiwedd yn cymeriadau cryf a gwahanol. Mae'n cymeriadau phrofeddodol a hudol, ond hefyd gyda greiddiau yn y byd go iawn. Rwy'n meddwl, dyna rhan mor rheswm rwy'n meddwl, mae'r Llyfr Gwyn dal i fod mor poblogaidd hyd yn oed cannoedd o fynyddoedd wedi iddyn cael ein cyfansoddi. The Wills Collection is a very interesting collection and amongst uh, the many wills that have been left, there have been very few that have been left by women. But one that has made an impression on me is the Mary Williams will of 1737 from Lissoni. She left an infant daughter in the custody of her cousin, but also went to the trouble of recording in her inventory um, an old feather bed, an old rug with a hole in it, uh, moth-eaten blankets, but she felt that she had to leave uh, a will so she could uh, make a better life for her infant child. An artist out there, Barth, I can't read Brenda Chamberlain, Hoshol Negru, I can't even know the beat. I can't do neither or go to your artist of them. I can't do the work I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. 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 Rhai fy hoff gweithiau i gan yr artist ydy'r gweithiau creodd tra'n byw ar yn esenllu am pymthau gyfrinyddoedd. Ysgrifennodd hi'r gyfrol Tai Dreis traeth hi yma ac edwyr nifer o'r darluniadau arbennig iawn a chreodd ar gyfer y gyfrol yma o fewn casgadau llyfrgell. Aeth ei gwaith hi'n llawer cryfach yma hefyd a cafodd ei dylanwadig yn artistiaid fel Matisse, Gogan, Picasso a ceir portriad hyfryd o'i chyfaill Peter Cann o'r pedwar dege o fewn y llywyrgell yn dangos y dylanwadau yma ar ei gwaith. Fi oedd hi'n byw am pum lynedd ar ynys haidra groeg hefyd, llaeth y gwaith yn llawer fwy haniaethol. Y gobaith ydy y bydd mwy o pobl yn gwneud gwaith ymchwil i fewn i'r archifau a'r gweithiau celf yma gan artistiad benywaidd Cymreig sydd gennym o fewn y llywyrgell, gan felly codi status o fewn hanes celf Cymru. O Sarah Jane Rees neu Crynogwen yn fenyw aml dylentog ac mae'n y sawl eitem yn y llyfrgell yn ymwneud â Crynogwen sydd yn hynod drawiadol. Wedi i magu'n llangrannog ac yn ferch i gapten llong, penderfynodd hithau hefyd i ddilyn gyrfa tu'r dec ac oedd i hyd yn oed wedi ennill cymhwyster mewn rheoli llongau. Mae ffotograff John Thomas ohoni yn ei gwisg morwrol yn hynod drawiadol ac yn olygfa eitha angyfarwydd yng nghanol y bedwaredd ganrif ar bymtheg. Mae'n rhaid i ni gofio, oedd crynogwen, y medru tri na thrafod y Gymraeg, yr un mor feistrolgar a lliw'r llong. Hi oedd y fenyw gyntaf erioed i ennill gwobr y farfoniaeth yn yr eisteddfod genedlaethol a bron dros nos fe ddath hi'n fardd cyhoeddedig gyda'i chyfrol caniadau crynogwen. Hi hefyd oedd y fenyw gyntaf erioed i olygu cylchgrawn i ferched yn y Gymraeg, y Frythones wrth gwrs. Felly oedd cynogwen yn arloesraig, hi oedd y fenyw gyntaf i wneud llawer o bethau yng Nghymru ac felly oedd ei hebos yn arwres.